of his will, according to his good pleasure, which had purposed in himself. God couldn't lie. God can't lie, so he swore. But to immutable fact, swore by himself. Yes. The Bible said the plan of God is uh, his good pleasure, which he had purposed in himself. Yes. That in the dispensation of the fullness of time, he might gather together in one. What have I been talking to you about? How that the house of Israel, the house of Judah, and the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Of the sheep I have that are not of this fold. Yes. But it gathers together in one both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. And also we have obtained an inheritance. Glory to God. The, the fool had no hope. Somebody went to an atheist funeral one time and walked by the casket and was all dressed up and said, look at that, all dressed up, no place to go. You mean to tell me an intelligent thinking individual believes that we just live 56, 7, 80 years, 100 years, and that's all there is to us? That they're not an eternal purpose? See, the reason why I believe the Bible is because I can take it from Genesis to Revelation and show uh, the migration of man, the, transform, the, the transformation of man, uh, and how that the church of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, is that little rock hewn out of the mountain that's growing in the earth. Amen. Look at the nation of the world that's trembling this morning because our president is putting his hand uh, on two Bibles, not one, two. We're well, not the only one that's ever done that. I think he said five or six presidents have done it. The most powerful single individual on the face of the earth put his hands on the Bible after over 2,000 years and declaring faith in God. Well, that don't mean anything. Yes, it does. Just think about it now. Whenever the oath is given and whenever he accepts the oath uh, as President of the United States for the second term, for the second time, uh, a nation that's been protected, a nation that's been blessed, uh, and the dispensation of the fullness of time is coming to an end. We are coming to the place to where that government cannot succeed. Government is on a slippery slope of totally failure. And whenever the government shall be upon his shoulders, glory to God. Amen. 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 I mean, uh, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance. I mean, they might put me in a box for a I don't mean to be uh, dramatic about it. Uh, or, but that's not the end. He that hath that part in the first resurrection. That's another thing, Donnie Swagger. I ought to go back there to Baton Rouge again. I've been to Swagger Church every time. I ought to go back there again and straighten them out. This is another thing. You know. He that hath part in the first resurrection. They said that's going to be at the end of the tribulation period. No, that was whenever you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and you were buried with him in water baptism and was raised up with him uh, to walk in newness of life. You were changed eternally. He that had taken part in the first resurrection, the second resurrection or the second death hath no power over him. Glory to God. Amen. If you've already died in him, you might go to sleep in him, but you're not going to see corruption. Amen. Hallelujah. You still with me? Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. In whom we also have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him 
who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. What did Jeremiah say? That, that God has done it in himself, and here Paul said, after the counsel of his own will. And Jesus explicitly told his disciples, when you pray, pray, our Father who art in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. As it is in heaven. Is that what he said? Yes. Amen. God's not going to change his word just because some of us are not intelligent enough to understand uh, uh, because if we want to twist it or this, that, and other, make people feel good. Uh, glory to God. That we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ, in whom he also trusted after you heard the word of truth. The gospel of your salvation, and whom also after that you believed you were sealed. Glory to God. You, you, after that you believed you were sealed. God has put a seal on you with that Holy Spirit of promise, which is the earnest of our inheritance. That's not what it said. Until the redemption of the purchased possession under the prize of his glory. What's the per what is the purchased possession? It's the great pearl of great price. Yes. In the field. He went and paid all that he had to purchase the pearl of great price. Jesus Christ purchased the church with his shed blood. Jesus Christ purchased the church with his shed blood. Amen. The physical humanity of Jesus Christ <coughs> of Jesus Christ died on the cross. That body was placed in a tomb. He went into hell and preached the gospel. He came up and he said, don't touch me. I've got to send to my God and to your God, my Father, and to your Father. And whenever he came back, he said to Thomas, touch and feel. And Thomas excitedly declared, my Lord and my God. The only way that we'll ever see God is through the manifestation of of the sonship, the manifestation of the flesh, the manifestation of that which was resurrected. He said, I am not a spirit. Touch and feel me. Yes. Glory to God. The inheritance of our resurrection. Galatians, the fourth chapter. Galatians, the fourth chapter.